Good morning. It is uh, Monday, September 25th, uh, 2023. It's John Gilkison, Aero Stealth here. And uh, I thought today would be a good day to shoot a video outdoors. It's uh, fairly calm con conditions. We don't really have uh, any wind to speak of. So, and I wanted to shoot uh, something on my tractor. And the reason I wanted to do that is because when we went to the electric car show this weekend uh, on Saturday, they had two electric tractors there, and there's a company that's selling them. So I got some spec sheets off of it, and it's a fascinating comparison to compare the, an electric tractor of the same size and capabilities as my Kubota, which is a diesel tractor. So without further ado, I'm going to point this down a little bit so you can see the tractor. See how good we can do here. Get my body out of the way. So there you have it. This is a Basically, it's about a 23 horsepower diesel. It's um, it has a five-gallon diesel tank, and uh, a, a front bucket can lift about 500 pounds. And uh, it's got a blade at the rear, and I use it basically on my driveway when uh, we get rains that uh, rut my driveway and so forth. Keep it thatched up. Um, uh, according to my records, I've been using it about 33 hours a year, which isn't a lot. Um, some years more, some years less. And the thing has, uh, I bought it in 2007. It has quite a bit of deferred maintenance on it right now. It, it needs a new seat, it needs a new front right tire. It needs hydraulic work, hydraulic service, so forth. Uh, but it's a good tractor. It's... Uh, However, it does use diesel, and uh, I figure, well, let's go ahead and, and show you the, uh, if you can see any of that, this is an electric tractor, it's called a Selectric, with a, uh, um, backhoe on the back, now I would much rather have just uh, a bucket and a uh, blade on the back. So let's get into it. Um, see what we come up with here. Huh? The um, specs are on the electric tractors. It holds uh, 25.55 kilowatt hours in the battery pack. That's its pack rating. And it's called Select Track. And it's a E25G. And it's a $32,000 tractor. Now I can still go out and buy a diesel tractor like I have for $23,000. So we're talking about a $9,000 premium. That's unfortunate. However, Let's go ahead and do, go through the comparisons. Kubota first, and then Select Track second. So the Kubota, 23 horsepower, 25 for the Select Track. Uh, Kubota can buck, front bucket can lift 500 pounds, and a Select Track can lift 900. And I've already told you, five gallon tank uh, for the Kubota, 25.55 uh, kilowatt hours. Now that five gallons of uh, diesel is equivalent to 194 kilowatt hours. So as you can see, it's practically about seven times the amount of fuel being held in energy content in a five gallon tank. And again, this is the same kind of comparison. BTUs, five gallon tank is 693,000 BTUs. And... Uh, 
the select track battery 25.55 kilowatt hours holds 87 point <coughs> excuse me 87,176 BTUs now I they say I can operate this tractor here for 12 hours on a full tank I never have that's uh, maybe three hours is about the most I'll work if I got a lot of work to do and uh, it sure is a lot of idle time because the diesel has to run all the time um, the select track can work for six hours so that would be plenty fine um, doing the math and there's all kinds of interesting numbers that fell out here uh, the um, uh, Kubota consumes almost 18 kilowatt hours per hour of operation whereas the select track would be 4.25 kilowatt hours <coughs> so again we're looking at a factor of a little over four times more energy efficient um, charging NA for the Kubota it's 220 volts 30 amps for the select track I operate 33 hours a year uh, kilowatt hours per year would be 592 on the Kubota and 140 on the um, select track. Essentially I spend around 55 to 60 dollars a year on fuel for the Kubota and I would be down to I have a precise figure here six dollars and 58 cents let's say six fifty to seven dollars and again the price twenty three thousand for the Kubota thirty two thousand for the select track so I need a new tractor I really do but I can't I can't really it's not in my budget right now it's um, I need to get rid of some uh, uh, loans and so forth before I could even consider taking on something like that at this juncture but it's good to know that it's out there and it wouldn't remove that much co2 from the atmosphere every year um, but it is one of the reasons i would like to get one the other reason is just a simpler maintenance uh, easier care and feeding i could feel it at home wouldn't have to go to town you might as well add into this diesel cost every time i want to go buy four or five gallons of diesel i have I load it in the pickup truck and make a 50 mile round trip to town just to buy the diesel. Of course, I'm always making trips to town for other reasons, so I don't think about that too much. The, um, you know, this the ease, you know, push a button, things power it up, and uh, uh, more power, more lifting capacity, uh, just a more robust tractor with that. Uh, this tractor, for example, the diesel doesn't run the tractor directly. It runs a hydraulic system. It's a hydrostatic transmission. And that runs everything. It runs the wheels. It runs the buckets. It runs the blade. It, it's uh, it's what powers the tractor. And uh, there's a lot of power loss in that. More than you'd think. So that's why the electric is just going to be... Uh, a lot stronger it also has a hydraulic system because hydraulics is the best way to to do some of this work but it's not the best way to run the uh, tractor forward or backwards or the power steering or anything like that so there you have it um, so maybe this is in the cards for the future I sure am excited that there's such a product on the market and it's available locally so Hopefully some bigger outfits, you know, the orchards around here, the people who really work tractors on a regular basis will jump on this because of the reduced maintenance costs and the reduced operating cost. So, uh, take care, everybody. I'll give you one more look at this beast. Um, and we'll... Look at it in the front.
That's a worker. It's amazing what 23 horsepower will do. And you know, I still have my hand in a splint, and but I used it the other day because the controls are on the right side, so and you don't need to steer when you're actually picking up dirt. The only big problem I had was that was actually demounting the tractor, getting down. I could get up fairly easily into the seat, but getting out of the seat and back down on the ground was a little difficult with one hand. So. And this is the blade. It's worth its weight in gold. So, happy low carbon trails, everybody. Bye-bye.